Initially, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said, no, if you're a healthy member of the public, unless you're taking care of somebody who is ill with COVID-19, you do not need to wear a face mask. However, as of late, maybe they'll advise the public to wear a face covering if they're going out in public. So what do they mean by face covering? I'm going to go over the three main types with you. First of all, there is the N95 respirator. This is the most heavy duty mask out there. The 95 and N95 respirator stands for, it filters out 95% of particles in the air that you would breathe in. So it's a very effective mask. However, they're an extreme short supply. Even doctors are having to reuse their current N95 respirators um, because they can't get their hands on more. Doctors really do need these N95 respirators because if they're caring for somebody who is ill with COVID-19 and they're doing a procedure such as intubating them if the person needs to be hooked up to a ventilator, then that patient can emit aerosolized particles of the virus and only the N95 respirator can protect against this. A surgical mask won't do a good enough job. So that's why medical prof professionals really need all the N95 respirators that are out there. It's not for public use. In addition, these masks are very hard to put on. I've spoken to several doctors who say that they receive annual training in how to tightly fit the N95 respirator to their face so that no outside particles get in. And because of that, it's very hard to breathe in them because they're very thick. And so one doctor told me he could only really wear one for about half an hour before he felt claustrophobic and had to take it off. All right, let's go to our next mask. That is the surgical mask, which you might see people wearing out and about. So surgical masks are really more of a physical barrier than anything else, and they prevent against the spread of droplets. So if you sneeze or cough, you might um, uh, spew out some viral particles, which is why um, CDC advises you to stay at least six feet away from people when you're going out in public. So the mask can help stop these droplets from spreading. So especially wear one if you're sick. Um, if you're not sick, it's also a good idea to wear one again because it's a physical barrier. These are also in short supply, but not as much as the N95 respirators. Finally, the last type of face covering I'll go over is the homemade one. So you might use a bandana or a scarf or some people are, who have sewing machines are making their own masks that look quite professional in my opinion. It's not as good at protecting you from um, pathogens as the surgical mask because the material just isn't as good as filtering them out. However, it's better than nothing. Again, it's like a physical block. If you are using a homemade mask, um, it's best to have a different pattern of fabric on each side and always have the same side of fabric on the outside so that you're not flipping it over. You want to wash it after every use. And when you put it on and take it off, you don't want to touch the area that you're breathing through. You want to grab it by the sides or by you know, a string if you have it there because you don't want to touch the place where there might be viral particles um, because maybe you'll forget and then you'll touch your face. And that is what we were trying to avoid here. Um, basically, if you have a mask on of any kind, you don't want to itch it, you don't want to touch it. No matter what kind of facial covering you're wearing, make sure it doesn't give you a false sense of security. You should still stay at least six feet away from people when you're out in public. And also, if you have a face shield or goggles, those can also protect you because they act as a physical block against the virus. In this case, it will protect your eyes. Thank you.